Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to configure a Windows firewall using grip policy. We can configure a Windows firewall rules individually on each computer or if a computer is joined to an active directory domain we can centrally manage a windows defender firewall settings and rules using grip policy managing windows firewall with grip policy can save time making it an ideal option for small organizations with a gpu configuration we could either manually add each firewall rule or we can import the firewall rules from a reference computer In this video we will manually create a firewall rule. First, let's understand the test lab we will use in this video. We have single domain active directory forest name msaptivebcast.com. This is our Windows Server 2022 domain controller srt22-dc01. We also have one Windows 10 client VM in this test lab which is part of active directory domain. On domain controller open active directory users and computers as we can see i have created one ou named test computers to store the computer account of domain joined computers i have stored the computer account of windows 10 client under this ou we will apply the firewall related group policy settings to this ou first open run menu type cmd and hit enter key Type command ping 172.18.72.61 and hit enter key. 172.18.72.61 is the IP address of Windows 10 client computer. As we can see, we are not getting ping replies back as the firewall is blocking ICMP echo request packets. To start, we will open the Group Policy Management console. On Server Manager dashboard. click on tools and select group policy management expand group policy objects right click on group policy objects and select new i'm giving name windows firewall test policy click okay to create a gpu now let's edit the group policy settings that used to configure a windows firewall right click on the new gpu and select edit Maximize the window. In the Group Policy Management Editor window, navigate to Computer Configuration, Policies, Windows Settings, expand Security Settings, then expand Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security. Expand and click on Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security. Right click on Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security and select Properties. The first option we will set is to enforce the firewall to be enabled on all profiles. On the first three tabs, Domain Profile, Private Profile and Public Profile, make sure the firewall is set to On Recommended. Enabling on All is best practice. First we will configure settings for domain profile set firewall state to on depending on the security policies in your company you can specify that all inbound connections are blocked by default and outbound connections are allowed at this moment i'm going to keep it to default let's set firewall state to on for private profile as well as for public profile Let's again go to the domain profile. Click on customize under logging and let's modify the setting to log dropped packets. Click on drop down list and select yes. This is only for dropped packet. Click okay. Let's do the same for private profile as well. And let's do the same for public profile as well. We have enabled logging for drop packets for all three profiles. Once you finish configuring the settings, click on Apply and OK to save the changes. 
Now, let's look at how to create Microsoft Defender Firewall rules using Grip Policy. Let's try to create an inbound firewall rule that allow inbound traffic. For example, we want to allow the incoming ICMP package through the Windows firewall with advanced security. Right-click the inbound rules and select new rule. The new firewall rule wizard starts. Check the custom radio button and click next. Click next. From the protocol type drop-down list, select ICMP version 4. Now click on customize. To permit ICMP for ping, the ICMP type echo request should be allowed. In this example, we will keep the all ICMP type selected. Click OK and click Next to continue. We may choose to restrict what IP addresses ICMP is allowed to and from or check any IP address radio buttons to allow all. Under Remote Address, choose this IP addresses radio button and click on Add. We want any computer from our local network can ping. So we have to specify the local network range here. Type 172.18.72.0/24. This is a local subnet. Click OK. So any ICMP packet from the subnet is allowed through our Windows Defender firewall. Click Next. Make sure Allow the connection option is selected. Click Next. Choose what profiles the rule will apply to. Check the domain profile checkbox as the minimum for domain network. We will keep all profiles selected and click Next. Add a meaningful name for the rule in the name field. Add a description if desired and click on Finish to exit and save the new rule. Go back to Group Policy Editor window. We can confirm the rule is created successfully. Next, let's see how we can create an inbound port rule. Right-click the inbound rules and select new rule. Check the custom radio button and click next. Click next. Select the protocol type that you want to allow. To restrict the rule to a specified port number, you must select either TCP or UDP. In this example, we will select TCP protocol. Under protocol number, we can see 6 for TCP protocol identification. Because this is an incoming rule, we typically configure only the local port number. From the local port drop-down list, select specific ports. In this example, I am going to type custom port number 7891. This is just for an example. You can specify the port number as per your requirement which you want to allow through Windows Firewall. Click Next. Under Remote Address, choose these IP addresses and click on Add. This time, I am only going to type a single IP address. Type IP address 172.18.72.50 and click OK. This is the IP address of our domain controller. Click Next. Make sure Allow the Connection option is selected. Click Next. We will keep all profiles selected and click Next. Add a meaningful name for the rule in the name field. Now click on Finish to exit and save the new rule. Go back to Group Policy Editor window. We have created two inbound firewall rules for testing purpose. Those rules are listed under Inbound Rules. By default, Windows Firewall allows all outbound network traffic unless it matches a rule that prohibits the traffic. This type of rule blocks any outbound network traffic that matches the specified TCP or UDP port numbers. Using the same steps, you can also create an outbound port rule as per your requirement. To prevent users with admin privileges on client computers from stopping the firewall service, it is recommended to configure the automatic startup of the Windows Firewall service using Group Policy. Click on System Services. Find Windows Defender Firewall in the list of services. Right-click on Windows Defender Firewall service and select Properties. Select Define this policy setting checkbox. Change the startup type to Automatic. You can also modify permissions from added security.
click OK. Click on Apply and OK to save the settings. For testing purpose, we have configured Windows Defender Firewall settings. Now close the Group Policy Editor window. The next step is to link the Group Policy object to targeted OU. Right click the Test Computer's OU and select Link an existing GPO. Select Firewall GPO from the list and click on OK. The GPO is now linked to the OU test computers. To check the result, let's go to Domain Join Client Computer. Open Command Prompt and then enter the GP Updates Let's Force command to ensure that the latest group policy settings are applied to the client computer. Open Run menu, type CMD and hit Enter key. Type command gp update slash force and hit enter key to update the group policy settings on this computer. On this computer, the group policy settings were successfully applied. Type command firewall.cpl and hit enter key. Firewall is on for all three profiles. We can see the message for your security, some settings are managed by your system administrator. Let's try to disable. Can we? Click on Turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. We can see Turn Up option is grey out for all three firewall profiles. Group policy prevents us from turning up the firewall on this computer. Click OK. Now let's check the firewall rules which we have configured using group policy. Click on Advanced Settings. Click on Inbound Rules. Confirm that new rules from the GPO are added to the existing local firewall rules. Open Custom Port Rule. Go to Protocols and Ports tab. Check the protocol and local port settings. In our case, protocol type is TCP and local port is 7891. So we can confirm that GPO has successfully added firewall rules on our client computer. Now let's go back to our domain controller VM. Open command prompt and again type command ping 172.18.72.61 and press enter key. As we can see, this time we are getting reply back from the Windows 10 computer. This means the custom ICMP rule is also working as configured. Using custom ICMP rule, now any computer from a local network can ping to any other computer on the same network. That's all for this video on how to configure Windows Defender Firewall using group policy. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.